The truth about coffee's effects. What caffeine does to your body. Many people rely on a cup of coffee in the morning or a caffeine boost in the afternoon to get through the day. And whether you merely like the taste of it, drink it out of habit, or actually rely on it for energy, there's no denying that coffee has some powerful effects. But have you ever thought about what it actually does to your body? Despite some of the benefits we hear about drinking coffee, this popular beverage does have some drawbacks. Coffee contains caffeine, which does so much more than just keep you alert and awake. Caffeine is a central nervous system stimulant that affects the body in various ways. So stay tuned! In this video, we're going to spill the beans on coffee and what it really does to your body. Number 1. Stimulates Energy Coffee increases alertness and energy levels, and that's because caffeine is considered an adenosine blocker. Let me explain. Adenosine is a nervous system depressant, which means that it suppresses wakefulness and encourages sleep. However, when you gulp down your cup of joe, caffeine enters your bloodstream fairly quickly and travels to your brain, where it intrudes and attaches to those adenosine receptors. As a result, you become stimulated instead. This increased brain activity triggers the release of adrenaline, which gives you a burst of energy and alertness. Number 2. Can Cause Insomnia This is one of the biggest downsides of coffee's stimulating properties. Consuming it later in the day might predispose you to insomnia or further exacerbate it. While consuming caffeine too close to bedtime can keep you up at night, if you're prone to insomnia, your coffee habits might be the trigger for a chronic problem. If you suspect that coffee, or any other form of caffeine, is affecting your ability to fall asleep, you should stop consuming it after midday. Number 3. You may experience withdrawal Caffeine not only makes you more alert and reactive, but it also impacts your brain's pleasure center, which improves your mood and keeps you hooked. Like most drugs, caffeine raises levels of the feel-good chemical dopamine in your brain. And while this can have a positive effect on your mood, regular consumption can lead to dependence, which can cause withdrawal when you go without it. This is why habitual coffee drinkers tend to become irritable and get headaches when they don't get their fix. Number 4. Can Cause Anxiety and Agitation Although drinking a cup of coffee will make you feel energized, alert, and even happy, consuming too much caffeine can actually have a negative impact on your overall mood and mental health. Because it disrupts your brain chemistry, it can induce jitteriness and nervousness. You might feel anxious, depressed, irritable, or stressed. As a matter of fact, high caffeine consumption has been found to exacerbate anxiety and panic attacks. Number 5. Can Cause a Spike in Blood Pressure and Heart Rate Caffeine's effect on hormones and neurotransmitters has been linked to increased heart rate. And while there isn't a clear explanation for why caffeine raises blood pressure, it's most likely related to increased adrenaline and other hormonal responses brought on by the stimulant. That said, moderate consumption shouldn't have a noticeable impact on healthy adults. Some habitual coffee drinkers may have slightly elevated blood pressure, while others build up a tolerance and are unaffected in the long run. Number 6. Can be a diuretic and a laxative Have you ever noticed that you need to hit the bathroom after a cup of coffee? Indeed, coffee can be a diuretic and a laxative for some people. When you drink coffee, your urine output increases. And while caffeine itself can cause dehydration, the water in coffee helps counteract caffeine's mild diuretic effect. Caffeine also directly stimulates the colonic muscles, causing them to contract and prompt bowel movements. Moreover, if you drink your coffee hot, the warm liquid can relax the colon and cause muscle contractions, enhancing the laxative effect. Number 7. Can Irritate Your Stomach Consuming coffee increases the level of acidity in the stomach which can irritate the lining of the gut. This can induce heartburn and cause ulcers. If you have a sensitive stomach or are particularly sensitive to caffeine, you should avoid coffee altogether. Instead, opt for a more stomach-friendly beverage, such as herbal tea. Number 8. May Suppress Appetite 
Coffee is a known appetite suppressant, since it can reduce feelings of hunger and the desire to eat for a brief time. It may also promote thermogenesis, the process by which your body generates heat, allowing you to burn more calories. However, it is not a magic weight loss potion. There isn't much evidence that these effects are substantial enough to cause considerable or long-term weight loss. Sure, black coffee is a great low-calorie option to get your caffeine fix, but consuming it for the supposed weight loss benefits is unlikely to provide any noticeable changes. Number 9. Can interfere with some medications This beloved wake-up drink can also inhibit some common medications from working properly. That's because coffee might either prevent or accelerate the absorption of several prescription medications. The interaction can be caused by caffeine or coffee's other compounds. Caffeine in particular seems to interact with thyroid medications, psychiatric and depression drugs, as well as some antibiotics and heartburn medicines. Check with your doctor or pharmacist to see if coffee interacts with any medications you're taking. Thanks for watching. If you thought this video offered some useful information, give it a like and share it with your friends. It allows us to create more great content. If you want to see more videos from us, hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications so you never miss a video.